is 7 News. Tonight, Tanker Inferno. 45,000 litres of diesel erupts in a fireball, closing parts of the road highway. City siege, a Northbridge block in lockdown as police negotiate with an armed gunman. Waiting game, how police were led to Kaisha's bush grave. And an historic first win for the AFL's newest team. From the studios of Seven Perth, Emmy Kabansky. Good evening. A truck driver has escaped a fireball that engulfed his fuel tanker on Roe Highway today. The tanker crashed when a tyre blew out at high speed. The diesel load caught fire seconds later. Here's Blake Johnson. Roe Highway, Beckenham, just after 11.30 this morning. Forty-five thousand litres of diesel explode in a giant continuous fireball. There's little water hoses can do to stop it. The fuel tanker destroyed. The driver had jumped to safety only minutes earlier. Firefighters order locals to move to safety, fearing more explosions. smoke fills the sky of Perth's southeastern suburbs. Police say the tanker's tyre blew as it overtook a Toyota Prado on Roe Highway. It flipped on its side at close to 100 kilometres an hour, then slammed into the Toyota in the next lane. The truck driver and three people in the Toyota got out OK. Seconds later, the diesel ignited. jumped out of his car and he ran back this way clearing the traffic back to him and we get back that way by the time he come back down here his car was all caught alight as well a northwesterly wind was gusting at more than 40 kilometers an hour luckily for nearby homes pushing the flames away from them we couldn't see anything so we were just running around trying to get everyone out evacuating as many people and like belongings as possible the brixton street bridge was scorched underneath engineers were called in to assess damage to its structure covered in black soot, but it's OK. The crash has caused major traffic problems. Blake Johnson's in the 7 News helicopter now above the crash site. Blake, what's the damage to Roe Highway? Emmy, the damage is extensive. The northbound lanes of the Roe Highway are closed at the explosion site. We have a look now at some pictures we shot from the 7 News chopper a couple of minutes ago. And the Roe Highway is an absolute mess. It is charred and black. And that big crane there is picking up the pieces of what's left of the melted diesel tanker. Workers will be here most of the night. The southbound lanes are fine. It's the northbound lanes that are closed between Kenwick Link and Welshpool Road. Workers are hopeful, Emmy, that tonight, at some stage, they'll be able to open one of the northbound lanes. Thanks for that, Blake. A seven-hour siege in Northbridge has ended a short time ago. The armed gunman was taken to Royal Perth Hospital with self-inflicted wounds. Chantelle Tui is there. Chantelle, how did police bring the siege to an end? 